Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and ladies and gentlemen, we truly live in a society. Let me just put that one out there. Now, if you've been around the internet yesterday, you would know that Netflix has now been getting cancelled. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm not a proponent of cancel culture, but in this case, Netflix may have went a bit too far. Now, if you don't know the big outrage right now, if you don't understand what's going on, Netflix decided to release a trailer and announce this new movie called Cuties, which is a movie about, get this, I get, get, in fact, you know what, just stop, just stop. We're going to read the original Netflix logline, okay, because I, I, I don't think I can just come across at you, okay, we're going to, we're going to get it straight from the, from the, from the Netflix's mouth. Now, I'm going to censor the poster here, because the poster is actually, for those of you who don't know, a bunch of 11-year-old girls, yes, 11-year-old girl actors, apparently, uh, at least the lead as far as I know, uh, dressed up in, in, in pretty much nothing, booty shorts, everything you could call, I'm actually going to censor it, Netflix didn't do it, but I'm going to do it now. You can see that it's a TVMA production, meaning that it's, uh, it's, 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 it's for the grown-ups. It's an hour 36 minutes, and it's coming September 9th. Amy 11 becomes fascinated with a twerking dance crew. Yes, twerking, the sensual, sexualized dance, right? Again, the age 11, add that up. Hoping to join them, she starts to explore her femininity, defying her family's traditions. Whew, now, I don't know how you can really, uh, re re really kind of justify it. It definitely comes across very creepy. In fact, it's, it it's to the point where even Netflix agreed that it was really, really weird. Which is why, get this, they changed it. They actually changed the poster originally to something that wasn't showing 11-year-olds dressed scantily clad, and they changed it to 11-year-old Amy starts to rebel against her conservative family's tradition when she becomes fascinated with a free-spirited dance crew. So yeah, you can kind of understand the, the weird, almost illegal romp that we're headed into. So it's great that Netflix actually just apologized to this whole thing too. Like they admitted that it was wrong where they said, we're deeply sorry for the inappropriate artwork that we used. It was not okay, nor was it representative of this French film that won an award at Sundance. And then they updated the pictures and description. I like the fact that they said won an award at Sundance. Like that's some scientific barometer for what is a great movie or not. But, you know, they did technically apologize on it. But regardless of that, who the hell even okayed the original poster and description in the first place? Like, the marketing team absolutely shot the movie down before it even had a chance to try and run in the first place. Like, what the actual hell? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I made a video a while ago, not a while ago, not too long ago, where I talked about the map uh, menace on Twitter and everything. And quite honestly, I'm one of those people that is totally against normalization of people who are obviously pedophiles. Let's be real about it. And whenever you get media like this, no doubt in my mind, <laughs> is it there to somewhat help normalize this bullshit nonsense? I mean, quite honestly, pedophilia should not be a normalized uh, you know, thing. It really shouldn't be. You know, most people are against it. Now, this this movie, I watched the trailer of it, 1 minute 30 seconds, which is currently sitting at about 5,000 likes to like 38,000 dislikes. I mean, it's getting a lot of fucking hate to the point where like it's hitting the Netflix Reddit boards, it's hitting everywhere. Like this is a this is a pretty pretty disliked situation. People are unanimously getting on board and saying maybe sexualizing minors isn't okay. I mean, that's just not. So I watched the trailer of it and quite honestly, the trailer did not help the situation much. The trailer is about this woman this this little girl 11 year old named amy who's basically growing up in this like uh traditional muslim household where she is suppressed you know her 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 femininity i guess you could say she comes across a bunch of girls who are part of this like twerking dance club and i guess they're 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 into the social medias they're sh they're sharing themselves on the good old tiktoks and uh you know it, it is definitely it is definitely sexualized for sure. I mean, let's be real here. Let's let's do fucking basic mathematics. 11-year-old plus twerking. Uh, yeah, that... Uh, come on now. What the fuck, people? Jesus Christ. There's nothing to argue here. It's fucking weird, all right? Let's get down with it.
Now, now to understand, okay, this is a 2020 French movie, and there's a big misconception right now where uh, in, in people are assuming this is a Netflix original, like Netflix themselves produced this fucking movie. Uh, actually, no, it's a movie that was, I, I think it premiered as Sundance, and we'll get into all that real quick. So this is a French coming-of-age comedy drama film, and it's uh, written by a uh, Senegalese French woman who basically, she's sharing some of her personal experiences, and if you can see real quickly... <coughs> It actually speaks about hypersexualization of pre-adolescent girls, right? Internet culture and all that stuff. Now, this is a very important topic, and it's something that definitely can be talked about. I mean, let's not deny the fact that social media and children, kids are growing up way too fast, and, and, they're, and they're growing up in situations where they're posting their entire lives on social media, so let's not pretend that this isn't some kind of an issue. However, the way that Netflix marketed it is fucking stupid. It... It definitely shot this purpose down. I mean, if your entire goal was anti-sec hypersexualization of children, well, the way that Netflix marketed this entire movie by sec hypersexualizing young children is fucking wrong. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a cutesy scenario. This is this is not something that should be normalized. This is not something that you can. Th this is this is not okay. All right. So again, it's pretty goddamn hypocritical if you're against the hypersexualization of young girls that you partner with a company that decides to do just fucking that in its promotional materials. Netflix did not help in any case. Now, I actually went by and looked at this uh, director's like uh, interview, and this is a French interview that was Google translated. So if there are some inaccuracies, bear with me, okay? I'm not a French native speaker. I mean, I can get by, but I mean, let, let, let's be real here, okay? I'm more of a mother Indian, if you wanted to know that, okay? Anyways, let's get down into it. So uh, one of the interviewers asks, you also tackle hypersexualization of preteens, another subject that we see very little in French cinema. I think you actually see this very little in most legal cinema. It's, it's not something that people really get down with. And she responded, I don't think these are disturbing subjects, but it's true that this particular age is not covered much. Wonder why? <laughs> these subjects are above all very representative of what is happening in reality and are perhaps difficult to admit. Then doing a preteen cast means taking the risk and seeing them transform three months later, given that they're in a pretty big growth phase. Now, I'm going to chalk this up to Google Translate, but it seems like some weird fucking experimentation going on, and I don't know if I'm cool with it. But again, let's just dial back to what I said earlier, okay? It's pretty goddamn hypocritical of you to be anti-against this, which is a very novel you know, point to take by doing the exact thing that you're kind of against. I mean, I get that it's a touchy subject, but the way that you're presenting it just isn't fucking okay. Can we say that th uh, this is a film that denounces? This is a deeply feminist film. It was important to me to find the perfect angle to talk about my heroine, Amy, who is torn between two role models. One on the, on, on the one hand, that of her mother, who undergoes a certain form of oppression and one that she will seek outside. Though this group of girlfriends, which is for her a form of liberation, questions the place of women in society and the tools we give to our young girls to build themselves with this film i question the notion of choice when you are a woman so she's obviously talking about you know the it, it's it i believe the actual film is probably fucking way more nuanced than the actual advertising let it go off as but let me just tell you right now first impressions are everything and netflix fucking shot your ass in the dark now i get that this is a coming of age story and the actual movie may be way more fucking nuanced because the reviews for this movie have apparently been fucking stellar and people are saying that it's a very like I guess, artistic and, like, nuanced look at the situation. But again, may I remind you, the Netflix marketing really, really fucking threw you down. I mean, if you go to their official trailer real quick, and you just go down, you can actually see they fucking kept the original fuck-up that they backpedaled on. So if you look in the description, and, you know, just real quickly, I'll show you right now. Refresh this entire page, and we'll go all the way down. All right, show more. Amy, 11 years old, tries to escape family dysfunction by joining a free-spirited dance clique named Cuties as they build their self-confidence through dance. And then you look at Amy, 11, becomes fascinated with a twerking dance crew, hoping to join them. She starts to... Bro, they literally kept the original fuck up in there. Netflix does not care about this. I mean, Jesus Christ. You know, you might say that people are getting way too outraged and the pitchforks are already out, but again, 
If your movie is more nuanced by this, the first impression that you first laid out onto people is, is, is the worst one you can possibly put. Even if this movie is nuanced, people who will actually watch this to give it its fair shake, so to speak, are going to walk into this with, with, with like, with like these preconceptions. Okay. They're going to, they're going to walk into this expecting the goddamn worst. All right. So even if you try to convince people of a nuanced take, congratulations, you fucked up with what you started. And I want to assume that this may have been intentional to an extent because what better marketing than that of controversy? It's a very fine line that you work on. And maybe someone in Netflix thought that this was the case. Understand this. Even if Netflix didn't make this movie, there was somebody at fucking marketing for Netflix, a group of people who probably looked at this. And I guarantee you when that when that when that like twerking dance crew line was written there was somebody that you know had a little scratch on the back of their neck that said maybe this is a bad idea someone greenlit this and that person from a fucking pr perspective from a marketing perspective should not have a job at netflix and that's not outrage speaking that's common fucking sense the other thing that this movie kind of gets me a little bit on is even if it's a nuanced take they're trying to paint it as if being traditional and like having these religious values is somewhat is somewhat the bad thing to have all right at least from how this trailer is portrayed because obviously the mom that that is supposed to be a role model actually slaps her daughter and like fucking chastises her for being a part of this when let me tell you it's not about being a conservative it's not about having a traditional value system it's not even about being muslim in this case all right literally every culture you go to every place you go to every parent you talk to because i have a lot of fr friends and family that are now parents they have young children and i talk to them about this it doesn't matter what culture what race what religion what background you come from no one gets down with watching 11 year olds fucking sexualize in this manner it's it's not fucking okay, all right? And and the fact that there are people that defend this by giving me bullshit like uh, l l l let's just go over the defense squad real quick because that that's one you have to talk about real fast too. There's this one response where it's like, where's the same outrage with toddlers and tiaras or dance moms? It's literally the same, but y'all call for boycotting when it's a film starring a black girl as the lead role and was created by a French African woman. Okay, first of all, all right, this whole bullshit notion that hey, this is a female director, you know, person of color, all that nonsense. You're using these fucking whataboutisms, all right? Nobody is okay with, nobody is even okay with toddlers and tiaras or dance moms. People find that shit fucking creepy. If you watch child beauty pageants, you're probably fucking doing something illegal with your free time. Let me tell you. I, yes, I know that's a big stretch to make, but is it really? I mean, if people are outraged by this, do not expect that people are fucking aren't outraged by these toddlers and tiaras. I still find that shit fucking creepy. Most people I talk to find that creepy and if you ever find if I find somebody who genuinely watches that I'm probably going to question what kind of a fucking person they are and why they're watching that in the first place when they have so many things to do and I'm also going to question the parents who let their children fucking get into that world anyways or or better yet the ones who force their kids into that nonsense anyways yes nobody likes that this whataboutism doesn't actually fucking work in your favor nobody's okay with that and nobody's okay with this either the other notion that I hear too where people are like, oh, this is a French movie. It's normal over there. No, not really. Because even on the French side of the internet, even on French Twitter, French Reddit, fuck, I've been to France. I know what French people are like too from my experiences. And guess what? They're not even fucking okay with this shit either. Nobody is, all right? So again, it doesn't, the, the arguments don't make any sense. They hold no validity. Now, a lot of people are saying that this is fucking art or something like that, right? Where somebody's like, you don't have to like something or even think it's effective to be art. Bad art is still art. Listen. I'm not going to get into the is this artistic debate. I'm just going to tell you right now, sexualizing minors is just not fucking okay. It's just not what you want to do. This is not the hill you want to fucking die on, okay? And you know what? Even if this movie, again, like I said earlier, is more nuanced, the marketing clearly doesn't fucking help that favor at all. The, the tra trailers are usually supposed to hook you. Trailers are kind of like a mishmash of the best pieces of the movie to hook you in. That trailer that they cut together did not hook me in. It fucking weirded me out, okay? And that's not a good impression a movie can leave on you. Now, here's another one where, like, people fell for this massive fucking troll bait. So on IMDb, people who, again, haven't really watched this movie are throwing in, like, really revolting, disgusting. And this person over here who, like, fucking outraged, I've been seeing this comment float around where some dude's like, amazing actress, also sexy. I hope they make, man, it feels fucking disgusting saying that. I hope they make more, but don't wait too long. Don't want them to be too old for the roles. 
Uh, I want to chalk that up to a fucking... Oh, God. <coughs> oh, ooh, fuck. That actually is disgusting, dude. I feel like my body is rejecting my soul as I say that. But you know what? That's obviously a troll, I'm pretty sure. And people are getting baited by it. On the off chance that isn't a troll, uh, I've already, you know, sent the FBI whatever cyber tip they fucking needed. So, you know, it is what it is. But ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to talk about this because it's fucking weird. And I, I, I don't think it's okay. You know, I'm, I'm not one of those, like, prudish type of individuals. I can kind of see the value in most things. But there's a line that I have. And the line is when you start sexualizing a fucking minor in what is obviously something that they probably shouldn't be. I mean, the fact that the, the girls that are portraying their roles in here actually match the 11-year-old, which is way too fucking young, by the way. Let me just put it out there. The fact that they match it, the fact that they're dressed up this way for the movie creeps me out too all right it just shouldn't happen this way and i get they're trying to make some weird provocative piece and they're gonna make you think when you watch this movie but the way that it's shot man i mean the, the way that it was marketed also scares the shit out of me. They had to have known what they were doing. You're calling this thing cuties. The original poster where they're all dressed in pretty much nothing. And then you're going to give me a line where they join a twerking crew. Like, there's nobody that can tell me twerking is this, like, crazy dance style. Bro, the last time I've ever seen twerking is at strip clubs, okay? And if that shit isn't sexual, I don't know what is, dog. But anyways, though, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm probably going to cancel my Netflix subscription, not because I'm like super duper outraged, but because Netflix has not produced anything good uh, in the last 60 days. So I've literally been paying them for no reason. So, yeah, after this video is done, I'm going to go to my account. I'm going to cancel that subscription. And shit, if they make another season of the Ozarks or Narcos Mexico, then maybe I'll sign back on. But as for now, uh, fuck Netflix. Uh, back out of it. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know what they were smoking. But whatever it is, I definitely don't want some. But ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out.